probably seems a little dark out here. It's because it's it's uh, almost seven o'clock at night, but that's when it cooled down enough I could come out here and set. As you can tell, pretty much all the plants are moved. I've got one, two, three, four more that's got to go in. I've been trying to get all the outside plants moved in. I don't have them here in front of me because I watched them on the internet. Um, I've got a couple of three movies I want to tell you about. And the first one is a, a really, really good one. When I first saw it, I thought it was going to be more like a Walt Disney type movie. But after a few minutes, I realized it wasn't. It got good. Um, but if you like like Native American Indians and stuff, before, I, I think it was before white men came to America. So whatever that was, 1400s maybe. I don't know. Anyway, it's it's about an Indian girl who wants to hunt and not be a girl. She wants to hunt, but man, let me tell you what they're hunting. Whoa, it is so good, and it's called Prey, P-R-E-Y, Prey. And uh, like I said, when it first starts out, you kind of look at it as, Walt Disney type, but boy, let me tell you, it turns into anything but Walt Disney. And here's a picture of it. That way, if you want to go look for it, you'll know what you're looking for. Um, another one that they just came out with that I thought it was a little long for what it was. It was okay. I didn't find it absolutely fascinating, but, you know, modern day kids might and some other people might, but I just, it, I watched it and it was okay to watch. And it's the new movie called Nope, N-O-P-E, Nope. And it was pretty good, but it, for the type of movie it was, I thought it was a little long. It's over two hours long. And I'll put a picture of it here. So if you want to look for the movie online, you can go get it, or Netflix or wherever you want to watch it. And then the next one I found very interesting, uh, it started out um, kind of slow and kind of girly movie, but then it just got really good, then it got really sad but it's called Fall, F-A-L-L. -L. Worth the watch. Like I said, the first part of it's going to be boring, but certainly worth the watch. The last few days, I've, I've been putting off making videos because I've been going through my depressive state again. And I have to say, this time it was pretty bad. And uh, I can always tell when I'm starting to go into it because every little thing bothers me. I mean, one little thing can happen and I'll sit and just think about it to death. And the last few days have just been absolutely horrible. Uh, my grass, as you can see, is growing up. I went to mow it, I got one strip done and my mower went down again and I got so upset and so down about it that, I mean, I, would, I thought about suicide. You know, a lot of people think depression is just being in a bad mood. It's, it's not, let me tell you. You have thoughts that you don't usually have thoughts. Things have not been good. I mean, this is what, September 4th? This month already has not been good. Had a $218 water bill uh, because there was a small leak out by the meter, but by it being on this side of the meter, it was my responsibility. I didn't even know it was leaking until my water bill got so freaking high and I couldn't figure out why. So had to get that fixed and it just... 
by the time I paid all my bills this month, that's my uh, rent, uh, my car insurance and house insurance, my uh, internet, uh, water, electric, all that, I had $9.54 left. And that's to buy, $9.54, that's to buy groceries with and to buy gas for my car. Now you see why my depression mood has just bottomed out. Coming in, and I'm sure that a lot of this stuff happens to me every day, but when I'm not in a depressed mood, it's kind of like I let it go and I figure out how to fix it. And that's how I can pretty much tell whenever a depressed mood is coming on because it stays with me. I worry about it and it just eats me up. And uh, most of the day yesterday I stayed in bed all day. Most of the this morning I stayed in bed most of the morning. And finally my medications kicked in a little bit and I got up. Everything here has almost doubled in price. If something cost eight dollars here it's now almost 14 to 15 dollars if it was 10 dollars it's like 18 to 20 dollars and something very weird thursday i went to uh draw money out of my account so i could get some bills paid and i'd stopped up here at this little station right above my house to buy gas they were out of gas so i go all the way to cassville and i, I got gas and um, I went down to Dollar General to pick up uh, some household cleaning stuff that I had to have. But almost all the shelves were empty. There was nothing. So I left there and I started back and I stopped at the one up here. Same thing. Shelves are almost empty. There was hardly anything on the shelf. And I asked the girl about it and she said, we're not getting any shipment. She said, some things are coming in. But she said some things are not. I'm going to have to give up my telephone or I'm going to have to give up my internet or something because I just, I can't do it. I mean, I can't get rid of my insurance. I have to have my car. And the only other thing I can get rid of is my renter's insurance. And, you know, that's not going to save me a lot. And that's pretty dangerous for me to be able to have to do that. But I'm going to have to do what I got to do. My sister... She helped me buy a few groceries this month to get me through the month. You know, she doesn't, she works a part-time job, so she doesn't make a lot, a lot of money, but she tries to help me when she can. You know, I try not to ask her for a lot of help because she she's raising three of her grandkids again. She already raised two, her two oldest grandkids, and they're old enough to be gone now. And now she's got three more that she's having to raise. She raised six kids of her own. When she finds out that I needed something I didn't ask her, she gets mad at me. And I try to make her understand that I try not to bother her because she has so much on her plate, you know, because she's trying to help take care of my mother too. My mother, 83 years old. So I'm not gonna worry about this one. I'm not gonna try to buy parts for this one again. Uh, this is uh, about the seventh time that it's went down and I've had to buy this part, that part. I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to try to just save enough and try to buy another one, a good use riding lawnmower for next year. All I got to do is get through about three more mowings. It might be the best thing for me to just pack up and move back to the city where my sisters want me to be, but I just don't want really want to because... I would not be able to garden at all. I would not be able to plant flowers outside. You know, it just, I don't like, if I move back to the city, it's going to have to be in an apartment. And I freaking hate that. I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to get rid of half of over everything I've got. The only plants I'll be able to have is like house plants. But with what Biden's doing, I'm going to have to do what I got to do. But... I was looking at the price of apartments back in the city where I was from. Oh my gosh. A one bedroom apartment ranges from $1,300 to $1,800 a month. 
a two bedroom runs anywhere from about 2000 to 2500 a month. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I mean, I just. But anyway, um, go check out those movies. And I will have to say that, that Prey, Prey, P R E Y, is going to be your, your best bet. It, that, that movie is fantastic. That's like I was watching. I have a uh, guy that I watch on YouTube. He's a designer. And he went and bought these uh, glass, they were like a um, metal cross type 1920s smoke glass doors. Beautiful. He gave $700 a piece for them. Well, he brought them home and he had propped them up to see if they would fit where he's wanting to go. And he walked back behind the camera and that one just went straight away. As that thing was falling, I came up out of my chair and I yelled. He gave $700 a piece for those doors, and he got two of them. And it hit the floor, and I just knew it cracked. Didn't bother it a bit. It wasn't like a hardwood floor or tile floor. It had carpet, and that's the only, I think that's what saved it. Anyway, guys, just a little chat. And uh, I'll see you on tomorrow's video when I do Tea Time Tuesday. And I hope you come to watch. Have a good night, guys.